Are shopping carts dangerous? Yes. Shopping cart introduction. The subject of shopping cart danger is difficult to present. It is a profound and unforgettable occurrence to speak about. Why? Because it is about the deaths and injuries of children. This presentation seeks and hopes to change decisions that are made for children daily. The established and current facts, data, and research from both medical and governmental investigations about shopping carts needs to be shared and seen by everyone with a child in their care. The integration of this research and its recommendations here within should be used immediately and permanently to protect every child, every time, and everywhere you shop. Do you know or are you unaware? The brain and bodily injuries children get from accidents and falls out of shopping carts can affect the rest of their lives and even cause their death. Do you know that shopping carts have danger warnings on them? These show the dangers and risks of serious injury to a child when a shopping cart is not used correctly. Do you know that there are no safe shopping carts? A child could get hurt on or in a shopping cart in any way and anywhere. Danger warning. No infants or babies are safe on top of a shopping cart. If you didn't know, now you do. Shopping carts are dangerous. Accidents and falls from them injure and kill children and babies every day, all year long. Fortunately, we can stop it, but it can only be stopped by getting parents grandparents and guardians the information and facts about children and shopping cart dangers. Keep children safe. We are at a severe lack of safety for children. The stores we shop in fail to teach us the safest use of their shopping carts. Stores give little to no training to their customers or to their staff about shopping cart dangers and the safest use of them. Children are the victims of great suffering from shopping cart accidents with many severe injuries resulting for them all because their family or care provider did not know that shopping carts could harm or kill a child. Honest to goodness did not know. Shopping carts harm, injure, and kill children every day. Sherry A. Bayless, your presenter began researching the topic of shopping cart danger and safety after witnessing an increase of small children in danger while standing in shopping carts. Once researching if children were injured or even killed in falls from shopping carts and the answer was yes, I knew from there I wanted to share this information somehow in a big way. How to describe it? Passive. Parents, grandparents, and child guardians have become passive to the extensive dangers involved in the use of a shopping cart with a child or children at stores. The danger warnings are on the shopping carts for a reason. Passive, as defined by dictionary.com. Passive, one, not reacting visibly to something that might be expected to produce manifestations 
of an emotion or feeling. Example, a child in danger. Two, not participating readily or actively. Inactive. Example, choosing not to protect a child in danger. Warning, your child can fall out of the car and suffer serious head injury amongst the other varieties of injuries that they may sustain from a cart fall. The truth be told and known, the research and statistics clearly show emergency departments across the United States have seen a dramatic increase in shopping cart accidents and falls which have led to fatality, permanent head injuries, permanent facial damage, permanent bone damage, bone reconstructions, bodily injuries of extensive variations. These injuries and deaths involved children and babies, especially zero to four to five year old, and additionally up to 15 years old. The Center for Injury and Research Policy, CERP. The Center for Injury Research and Policy of the Research Institute at Nationwide Children's Hospital works globally to reduce injury-related pediatric death and disability. SERP serves as a pioneer in translating cutting-edge injury research into education, policy, and advances in clinical care. You can visit them at www.nationwidechildrens.org. Use the keyword shopping carts. The National Electronic Injury Surveillance System, or NIST. Data for this study was obtained from NIST, which is operated by the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission. The NIST database provides information on consumer product related and sports and recreation related injuries treated in hospital emergency rooms across the country. You can visit them at www.cpsc.gov. Use keyword shopping cart. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. The United States Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, believes in the power of open data and being accessible to the public. This is why we make our data deliberations and decisions accessible to consumers and stakeholders in accordance with the Open Government Initiative. You can visit them at www.cpsc.gov. Facts from the Nationwide Children's Hospital in SERP. 66 children per day in the United States need to receive emergency department care due to a shopping cart accident or fall. Shopping cart injuries have increased from 3,483 injuries in 1990 to 12,333 injuries in 2011. The greatest amount of injuries occurred with children under four years old. Warning. More facts from the Nationwide Children's Hospital and SERP. The injury rate has climbed to 24,000 annually documented child shopping cart injuries and deaths. Every 22 minutes of every day, a child is injured or dies in a shopping cart related accident or fall. These injury rates continue to climb. The hidden dangers that parents, grandparents, and guardians put children in needs to be exposed and to be seen. 
Never let your child children stand in a shopping cart ever. To do so risks their lives. Shopping carts are for retail products and goods, not for children. This looks safe enough, but the danger is real. Children riding in a cart may seem safe, but it is not a safe choice for children ever. Falls happen fast. We use shopping carts all the time, and we absolutely need to. Learn how to protect, not endanger, your children in and around shopping carts. Always read warning and danger signs on shopping carts every time you use one. Not to do so is how passiveness becomes an injury or death to a child. Warnings mean that death and injury can happen and that they are irreversible. Beware of danger warnings. The children injured and deceased represented in this data, the parents, grandparents, and guardians of the injured and deceased children thought their children were safe in the shopping cart and that they could catch or grab their child if they should start to fall. All were wrong. Their child was in danger and some children fell to their injury or death, unable to be caught in time. My heartfelt and sincere sympathy is with them now and will always be. A shopping trip just shouldn't turn out like that, ever. They are part of the reasons for this presentation. The warnings on the cart are to protect the retailers and the children. Never let a child ride on the bottom of a shopping cart, ever. Fingers can get stuck in wheel casings of a moving shopping cart. It's happened. Even if they were made of gold, they would still be dangerous to children. In a published study by Clinical Pediatrics on shopping carts, they reported the annual rate of concussions and closed head injuries increased significantly by 200% during the study. The most commonly injured body region was the head at 78.1%. children and shopping carts. Children do not understand the danger they are in when they are in a shopping cart. Telling a child to sit down and then turning away to shop creates danger instantly for your child or your children. Children cannot warn you that they are about to fall. They think that they are safe. A child reaching out to grab products while standing in a cart creates danger of a fall. A child with their arms behind them holding the bars in back of them with their feet riding the metal bar at the bottom of the cart outward facing the front of the cart creates danger, horrible danger, with a face first fall. An unbuckled child creates danger and keeps the child in danger. Children will not tell you that if they fall out of a shopping cart, they could die. They don't know that. The reality, danger warnings, and this awareness campaign wants you to know that children do die. The danger is real. 
Going shopping can be a life or death event to a child in a shopping cart. Children need their parents and families to know this. What can you do? How can you protect your children and shop with a shopping cart safely? How can we reduce the number of children's injuries and deaths from shopping cart accidents? What are the recommended precautions from expert sources? The Archives of Pediatrics and Adolescent Medical Epidemiology state in a retrospective abstract analysis from NICE data from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, conclusions were that shopping carts should be redesigned to decrease the risk of injury to children. Or two, transportation of children and shopping carts of the current design should be prohibited. Consumer Product Safety Commission. CPSC staff is currently working with the ASTM F15.56 Shopping Cart Subcommittee to revise the warning labels on shopping carts. The proposed revisions include adding language to warn against the use of personal infant carriers and adding Spanish warning text, proposed separate warning poster, and a safe use bulletin for in-store display. The Archives of Pediatric and Adolescent Medical Epidemiology also state injuries related to shopping carts are an important cause of pediatric morbidity, especially among children younger than five years old. These injuries can also result in death. And to see these, uh, you can check out the abstract at the bottom of the slide and look that up. U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission on Preventing Accidents. Use seat belts to restrain your child in the shopping belt in the shopping cart seat. Retailers should ensure that all shopping carts have seat belts and that the seat belts work as intended. Stay with your child at all times. CPSC continued. Do not allow your child to ride in the shopping cart basket. Do not place a personal infant carrier or car seat in the shopping cart seat or basket. Do not allow your child to ride or climb on the sides or front of the shopping cart. Do not allow a child to push the shopping cart with another child in it. Weight limits prevent injury. An average shopping cart child seat holds a child that weighs from 15 to 35 pounds. Do not put children under 35, under 15 or over 35 pounds in a shopping, a child shopping cart seat. Always read shopping cart weight limits every time you put a child in a shopping cart. A child over 35 pounds in a child seat could tip the cart upon themselves by leaning forward and thus hit the concrete floor face first. A child under 15 pounds in a child seat could fall side to side, hitting themselves on the metal or arch back sideways and fall out. Gary Smith doctor and director of SERP and professor of pediatrics at Ohio State University College of Medicine state, it is time we take action to protect our children by strengthening shopping cart safety standards with requirements that will more effectively prevent tip overs and falls from shopping carts. The current voluntary standards for shopping carts are not adequate. He also states it is important for parents to understand that shopping carts can be a source of serious injury for their children. Nationwide Children's Hospital provides safety prevention. 
whenever possible, choose alternatives to placing your child in, in, sharp in a sharp shopping cart. Excuse me. Always use the safety straps. Be sure your child is snugly secure in the straps and that the legs of the child are placed through the leg openings. If parts are missing or not working, choose a different shopping cart. Nationwide Children's Hospital. Use a shopping cart with a child seat low to the ground if one is available. Make sure your child remains seated in the shopping cart. Stay with the shopping cart and your child at all times. Nationwide Children's Hospital continued. Avoid placing infant carriers on top of shopping carts. If your child is not old enough to sit upright by him or herself in the shopping cart seat, consider other options such as leaving your child at home with another adult while you are at the store, using an in-store child care areas, using a front or backpack carrier, or using a stroller. A message for retailers who offer shopping carts for customer use. Please train all levels of your staff about the safest use of a shopping cart, about the danger warning shopping carts have attached to them and why, about how to respond to a child-related shopping cart hazard on the sales floor. Continued, please train all levels of your staff about when and how to politely refer shoppers to the warnings on the shopping cart when they are misusing one. About how to simply say to that shopper that their child could be hurt when they don't use the cart, use the shopping cart safely and heed the warnings on it. About what to do in a shopping cart related accident involving an injured child that is in an emergency situation in or out of the store. A message for retailers about shopping cart upkeep. Inspect your shopping carts, straps, belts, buckles, child car and truck carts, all varieties of child holding seats and every safety feature on a shopping cart as a part of a regular child safety plan. Clean and maintain all child holding areas of shopping carts. Replace any child safety gear on shopping carts that is broken, worn out, or is unsafe. Make your standards for the best and safest use every time for every child. Children are your customers too. Retailers in the future, support future shopping cart standards and revisions, guidelines, research, seek and learn about shopping cart safety. Inquire about posters and in-store print materials that help educate shoppers about shopping cart dangers and safety. Never fear the one parent who doesn't want you telling them what to do with their child. Thousands of others will appreciate knowing this. Shopping cart wheel locks. Some retailers choose to install wheel locking mechanisms to stop the removal of their shopping carts from their property. Teach older children about wheel locks and why they exist. Also that they should never ride or play in or around a shopping cart. Know that if a child pushes another child or a parent is attempting to leave a retailer's property while pushing a cart fast, injuries or death may occur when the cart comes to a fast stop at the property lines at the store. A message to shoppers who use retailers' shopping carts. Shopping carts are expensive property of the retailers that offer them. A shopping cart is a moving vehicle capable of low speed travel. Everyone, please be cautious and respectful while using them. 
Never leave your garbage in a shopping cart as another customer or child can be in waiting to use it. Always use a garbage container. Shopping carts are not your property. Always return the shopping carts to the cart corrals, cart holders, or to the inside of the store in any weather condition. It's important. By doing these, a shopping cart stays in its best condition for every child and for every visit to the store. The best way to protect your children? The best way to protect your children is to leave them at home with a responsible child care provider, especially for children under five years old for when you need to go shopping. You can focus on your purchases, product price, variety, use, how much you need to buy when you are shopping without your child or children. And if you must bring children to the store, follow all safety instructions on the shopping cart and do not leave a child or children unattended ever. Tips for leaving children safe at home. Find another parent to share child care with while each other does their shopping without their children. Have one parent stay at home with children. Hire a babysitter and have them work on homework or age-appropriate activities with children while you shop. A child or baby that stays at home is in no danger of a shopping cart accident or injury at a store at any time. Always choose zero danger if possible. A shopping trip can last over an hour. How much of that time have you given to shopping cart safety? Has your child been in danger? Will you ignore the danger warnings? Your attention needs to be shared between your child and your shopping as you are making decisions and purchases at the store. Can you really be watching your child and shopping at the same time? Ask yourself that. These are thoughts of what I have learned by presenter Sherry A. Bayless. I've learned that a shopping cart is not a toy. It is not a fun ride like at an amusement park. It is not a playground on wheels for children to climb or play in or on. It is a all metal or hard plastic vehicle designed to carry retail goods and not children. It is never a safe place for an infant or a baby. It is not a playpen. It is a four-sided cage of steel. Public and private media. All forms of public and private media producers, please circulate this through your own publications, internet, TV, and print. Ask all of your affiliates to produce and publish this information for their viewership. Choose to save a child. Please participate in promoting this information. It can and will prevent serious injury and the deaths of children. Thank you all. Language translations. Please translate this to anyone who shops with children and might not otherwise be able to read or understand this. Thank you, translators. Please communicate this to anyone who has a hearing loss or is blind and shops with children. Thank you, sign language interpreters and blind readers. Please translate this to your real, uh, retailers and let them know you have seen this. Ask them to support shopping cart initiatives for safety standards while having some standards of their own. Thank you, retailers. 
Please help. Children will be given the safety. Please share this with everyone you know. Send them the link to the YouTube presentation you're watching right now. Please talk about this with everyone you know at work, the gym, in a restaurant, with family and friends, anywhere. Please share the data of this presentation to everyone you know using your phone, email, and circulate on all of your electronic devices. Please ask everyone you have shared this with to share it again and to have those people do the same. Please hope that our participation in this shopping cart accident awareness and prevention will help to lower the rate of the 66 children per day that are injured or die from shopping cart related accidents. Children do not know what can happen to them and the injuries are theirs to suffer or they could die. Always read danger warnings. Closing thoughts. Remember that passiveness is real and that we can lose sight of a danger as quick as a snap. My gratitude for your time will be everlasting. Please accept my appreciation for your attention and for your new commitment to shopping cart safety for children everywhere. It is eternal. Thank you to everyone. From your presenter, Sherry A. Bayless. This has been presented with all the love in my heart for children everywhere and for the parents, grandparents, and the guardians who love them.